I should be playing hardcore shit, man. That's what I should be doing. That should that's how I can get them like Mac oh. You're gonna keep spawning here? Please. Oh baby. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to today's video. Guys, today we are finally having the final day of season four, headed into season five. And I'm excited to see what we're gonna be getting. Now we obviously have to play some shipment 24-7 because we don't know if it's gonna be going away. And I'm gonna miss it. So I need to level up my guns as much as I can while I can. And that's what we're gonna do. And then thankfully we got a domination. And I think this is the beginning of the game. Oh my goodness, it is the beginning of the game. Yes. All right, so this will be a nice, long, normal video. I love that. Just do. I like. I've been really enjoying just doing the one, one game in the videos. And I know some. Oh my gosh, this ram sometimes is beans. Now, obviously, when I join the games like that are already almost done, I have to do multiple games in one video, which is fine. But it's so much easier, like doing the extra recording process, like the flow, when it's just all done in one game, and then I just cut out like the. The silent parts or any of the stuttering. Well, I don't usually cut out the stuttering. I try. I, well, I try to, and all the ums and all that stuff. It's a lot nicer when it's just all done in one video. I meant to say it's a lot nicer when it's all done in one game, which it is, because when you have to do it across multiple games, then I have to sit there and just hold my thought for the next game, and then I like I could forget about it, or I mean, I'll just like I don't I don't know. I, I, it's just nice to do this way. And wow, this ram is actually. It's actually a pretty good gun. I don't have it leveled up enough, which is why I'm playing Shimmer right now. That guy. Did that C4 not affect me because I killed him like a millisecond before it like before it pops or what? Oh, I suck, dude. That should have been a nice kill. I should be playing hardcore shit, man. That's what I should be doing. That should that's how I can get the like Mac oh. You're gonna keep spawning here? Please. Oh baby. That's a nice little quad feed for the boys, am I right? Okay, that guy is just He's just hanging out by by our flag, but I, I don't want us to keep this triple triple cap going. I want us to extend this. I'm gonna let him capture. No, nope, never mind. He's not gonna capture C, so I might as well throw a grenade for the kill. That guy got turned on. Like I I honestly feel bad for doing that to that poor soul. That guy right there just got smoked. This ram is actually pretty nice. I I not gonna say it's better than anything just yet. But it does feel really nice. Like it feels like it's a pretty viable weapon, and I love to see that. I told, I told you guys in the last video that I basically just use whatever the pros are not allowed to use anymore for the most part, or what they complain about because they complain about it for a reason. And this this is nice. I mean, I don't even really have any attachments on this thing. Yet. I mean, I do. I just have like some like random attachments, and this thing is still doing nice and sharp for me. Nice and clean. Not a lot of recoil. That's actually the the video I made the other day with the AUG. That's why I did that video, because all the pros started banning the AUG with the ammunition, the 5.56 rounds. So that's why I that's why I made that video last week. I think it was last week I made it. It's because that's what the pros ban. So whatever the pros ban is what I use. Why am I spawning right in the middle of smoke? That is super annoying. I weird, like oh crap, I slept I slide they're all here again. What it Oh, dude, no, I thought when I didn't see him standing there, I put the knife away and he just went prone. Jeez, like, what is <laughs> dude, shit, man. Oh, shit, man. I, I'm like, this is like actually one of the games where I don't think I've complained the most about this game. I do like this game and I've said it many a times. I only complain about this game as much as I do because it's so close to being perfect, yet it's not. I complain just because it's like so close to being a perfect game. That guy got destroyed. However... Like, I, I mean, I definitely don't hate it, especially because so I've been playing Search and Destroy. As you guys know, if you've been following for a while or you watch any of the streams, I obviously don't do any Search and Destroy on the YouTube channel or in the videos anymore because I've just been doing these solo videos like this. But with Search, the minimap issue is still annoying, but it's not that big of a deal because everyone only has one life anyway, so you don't have to worry about spawns or anything like that, which is like the main purpose of the minimap. So it's pretty fine for that, and everything else is like definitely tolerable. So. I'm excited for the next Call of Duty, but I... Dude, is that another quad this game? I'm just killing it. But I don't mind, like, this game right now. Normally by now, I think, like, every year after... I, Ghost might have been the last year. Or wait, what came first? Black Ops 2 or Ghost? Either Black Ops 2 or Ghost, whichever one came second, might have been the last time where I ever played a Call of Duty until the end of the year and then played the new one right after like i didn't play any games in between now, obviously this year i played like minecraft and stuff but what i mean by that is normally by now i would have completely quit playing call of duty and started playing like one year i played overwatch 
or one year I played Rocket League. I've played a lot of Pokemon one or a couple of years. I played Smash Bros. Like I kept going back and forth between Call of Duty and Super Smash Bros. But this year is just one of those years where I am totally content with playing this Call of Duty until the next one comes out. I'm only going to get off this one because the next one is there. And it has just a lot to do with the fact that this game is cross platform. So even though like this past uh, month or so, a lot of my or my stream schedule has switched. So a lot of the people who I normally can play with, especially like so small boy is the biggest example. He can't play with us anymore, which sucks, except for on weekends. But that's all right, because whenever he can't play with us, since we're on cross platform, we can fill his spot with anyone like very quickly. It's like really awesome. Cross platform has definitely made Call of Duty an incredible game this year. Now I know that there's obviously a, a lot of the PC hackers and all that stuff, but even like when there's not PC hackers, there's console hackers too. And I know it's obviously easier on PC, but I've only in search or not search in multiplayer. I've only ran into two two hackers that I know of off the top of my head. One of them. What I actually did in a video on shipment, and the other one happened during a live stream in a search and destroy in Piccadilly. But other than that, I haven't ran into any hackers in multiplayer. And I know there's a ton of hackers in Warzone, but I mean, that's another reason for that is because Warzone is a free to play game. So no one has any reason to be scared of hacking because if their account gets banned, they'll just make a new one, obviously. And with VPNs, people can just change their location if they ever get IP bans and all that stuff. So, but other than that, there's like no downside to crossplay. The people who complain about keyboard or mouse having an advantage or controller having the advantage. I mean, obviously one of them has some form of an advantage over the other. I'm not sure which one has the most advantages because controllers, we obviously have aim assist. Keyboard or mouse, you obviously don't really have a ceiling for how well you can perform. But whatever, I mean, how I see it is whichever one you play on the most is like, I'm just as good on the controller as most people are most people are on the keyboard and mouse. You know what I'm saying? And I've played both and I know that I'm like way better on a controller, but what I'm trying to say is that just be, like if I were to switch to a keyboard and mouse today right now again, which it's been a long time since I've played keyboard and mouse, I would not be able to just instantly just destroy ev like destroy better than I do on the controller or anything like that. So I think that that comparison is just so silly. I accidentally just took that guy's assassination and I feel so bad for doing that. Please forgive me. I didn't even realize that we were about to lose this game. Earlier we were triple capping and the game was going by so quick and we let them cap for so long I just totally forgot about anything like that. I gotta start capping some flags here because I don't want to lose but we have a pretty significant deficit right now to overcome. Let me grab A real quick. Okay, I guess I will not grab A real quick. My team's all spawning on him. There we go. Thank you, baby Pluto. Wait, that was a bad guy shooting at me? He just missed so many times. I thought that was a teammate shooting at me and not able to hit me. I hate, hate when my screen shakes when someone, when there's any kind of explosion near me. Like, that's the most annoying stuff ever, that Simtex. What is, what, that guy's using an FAL and he's shooting it, like, really slow? One thing I, like, I'm practically begging. I, dude, the FAL needs to be nerfed. I mean, it really does need to be nerfed. Obviously, I know the guy who's killing me with it in this game isn't doing anything that crazy. But in Search and Destroy, the FAL, it has to go. It is way too good at two shots from, like, almost any distance. I mean, and except for extremely long range, I guess. I don't even know, though. But I know that it destroys me when I have an SMG. And all it takes is one of your shots with aim assist on your controller to happen to be a headshot. And you insta-die, which is... I've said it a thousand million times. I don't think one-shot kill anything should be in any game now grenades they are obviously a little different because they're grenades but i still hate them but we have eod to uh, protect ourselves from that even though for some reason eod does not protect you from a one hit c4 which is super annoying but you there's no defense against an fal one shotting you yeah we lost this game that's kind of annoying the dude with the fal on their team dropped 70 kills that game yeah the fal I really hope that this thing gets nerfed. I highly doubt it will. The only way it's going to get nerfed is if everyone starts to use it in Warzone. We've That's like a pretty clear thing right now in the Call of Duty world. The only thing that they care about nerfing or buffing are things that involve Warzone. And I know it's more popular in Warzone now, but it's not taking over the Bruin. So there's no... Yeah, I went 39 and 87. <laughs> I'm sad. That's going to do it for today's video. I really, really hope that... The new maps that they bring are going to be nice, but more importantly, I hope that the FAL 
gets nerfed. I mean, if you want to keep it a two shot, which I don't think it should be, but if you want to keep it a two shot, at least take away the headshot or the one shot headshot. That should not be a thing because if we wanted to have a one shot headshot, then every gun should be one shot headshot because we're using ammo and it's hitting you in the head. But we're not doing that because we're playing Call of Duty. This isn't real life. Thank you guys for stopping by today's video. I'll see you guys on the next one. Goodbye.